given the cryostone's cavity is still flat at 36.7 degrees Celsius, the gas above the liquid contains air and acetone vapor at pressure 1.28 atm, asking for partial pressure of acetone in the gas phase. Well, the way to calculate partial pressure from chapter 5, we know that partial pressure is equal to mole fraction times the system pressure. And we don't know the mole fraction, and we're actually looking for mole fraction. And another way is to use real's law. But we know that in order to use real's law, you have to make some assumption. You have to assume that acetone vapor is the is saturated and the whole system is at equilibrium and acetone vapor is the only gas species that is condensable. And with that assumption made, you can go ahead and apply Real's law. And we can use Antonio equation to calculate the vapor pressure of acetone. And from table B4, we can find the constant to use in Antonio's equation. And once you find out the constant, you can go ahead apply Antonio's equation, just substitute, and at 36.7 degrees Celsius given, then you found our log vapor pressure is 2.57, and vapor pressure is 10 to the number of to the power and the number you've just found, then you get vapor pressure. Well, because the problem statement given the pressure is in ATM, so and the question is not asking for the vapor pressure or the partial pressure and in any unit, so you can go ahead to change that to ATM just to be consistent. Then conversion factor for changing to ATM is one ATM is equal to seven sixty mnHg. Then you got 0.49 ATM for partial pressure. And problem B, we know that once you find the partial pressure, the mole fraction is simply using the partial pressure divided by the gas pressure. And the gas phase pressure is 1.28 ATM, and then you have 0.49 ATM for partial pressure of acetone then you can calculate the mole fraction easily.